What's going on, everybody? It was quite the week across the entire planet. There is definitely some things to discuss here in this post-Valentine's Day tweet cap and also some other things to discuss. But let's get to it. Let's talk about what's trending. We have the real Cara here. What's up, Cara? Hello. Hello. Ryan's here as well. What's up, Ryan? Not much, Matt. How are you? Great to see you. And Jose, great to see you as well with your mm. background of the week, as we love it. <laughs> great to see your lovely mustache. Yes, for <laughs> for all those who are watching on YouTube, I have a mustache at this time. Um, this is due to the fact that I was shave, trimming my beard, and I made a mistake. Instead of going <laughs> clean shaven, I... Um, gonna have this while this i'm gonna have this mustache as it grows back not usually a move in the winter um but no, yeah. that is the case and i have gotten compliments all over the place yeah uh, i think i think the mustache suits you i Thank do too you. You, yeah. not a lot of people can do the mustache only uh-huh. but you, you can do it <laughs> i appreciate you look that very a lot. canadian <laughs> yes i need to get my brawny my brawny flannels and i always wear beanies <laughs> Go rock and roll. And yes, I've had people say that I posted on my just story. I was compared to Andy Reid, the Pringle Man. <laughs> um, the Pringle Man. <laughs> <laughs> someone said Danny Trejo, but okay. So maybe not quite a there. happy, happy mistake on this one. Um, but we do have to do what's right and fair and what's to talk about this show. And quickly, this is a show about what's trending in our world today. And unfortunately, one of the things that is trending this week is the fact that after Kansas City wins the Super Bowl, they had their the city of Kansas City through the championship parade, as they do, it seems, every year. But, you know, usually after a team wins championship parade, I wish I could say that it was a true celebration. But unfortunately, tragedy struck the parade at the end of it where we had some people bring firearms and started shooting, which resulted in, at least at this moment, one casualty, 22 people injured, where most of them are children. And first things first, it's sick to my stomach, as I'm sure everyone else, that now a championship parade is affected in the long list of many massacres that is taking place specifically in the United States. And I know there are various opinions on how to prevent these various massacres to continue to happen. But the fact of the matter is they are continuing to happen. And no matter what side you are on in figuring out how this has to end, the bottom line is that this has to end. And it's more than just thoughts and prayers. It's more than just lending a helping hand. It's actually... Go to those people who are in power to prevent these various massacres to happen. They have the power. And clearly we are still in the same spot. And I want to say there are times where it feels like this isn't going to change, but it can. It can. And it's up to us as individuals to put those people, the right people in power to create these changes, to keep pushing back, to keep using your platform big or small. And no matter what, I will say this final thing before we move on to lighter things. I understand right now it's very difficult to be a human being. Very, very difficult. But what we could do to prevent human beings and turning them into monsters is checking in, being a genuine person, and don't allow any time constraints to make sure somebody is okay. You don't know how valuable that is to check in on someone. And I hope that we don't have to keep doing this. And I know that we're strong enough to prevent something like this to happen again as a society. So with that, let's move on. And I'm so sorry about what happened in Kansas City. But regardless What did happen last week on Sunday for Kansas City fans and everyone all over is that we did have our Super Bowl. It was the highest rated event since the moon landing. Over 
20 million people watched. And the great thing about the Super Bowl is that there is something for everybody. And I think if you were there for the commercials, if you were there for the game, if you were there for the halftime show, there, it was enjoyable. So we all got to see the game. I saw Ryan, it, yeah. you saw. Jose, you saw. Cara, yeah. did you get to even see it? I've seen bits and pieces. Hey, <laughs> that still counts. So how did you think about, what do you guys think about the Super Bowl right now? Kansas City is the champion again. Um, and they're never going to lose. They're just going to be, as long <laughs> as Patrick Mahomes is breathing, um, it's going to be okay. And some things just work out for people all the time. And clearly, uh, Patrick Mahomes era, A.D. Reid, Travis Kelsey, uh, Chris Jones, the Hunt family down the line, they're just going to keep at it. They're just not going to lose. Simple as that. And, you know, I, again, if you want to hear me break it down thoroughly on a football standpoint, check out the last episode with me and Kevin Schaefer. But now in a more laid back setting, I just know Kansas City's never going to lose. Simple as that. <laughs> I mean, never's never's a long time, but you're making a compelling case, right? Uh, they they haven't lost in a long time. Um, I, I will say for me, when I went to the game, I was kind of of the mind of I didn't like either team, and so I thought I would that would hurt my enjoyment of the game, right? I was like, I didn't really want to see these teams that don't have any invested interest, right? But actually, I mean, maybe this maybe it's just me. I think I may have enjoyed it more. Because I didn't have any, I didn't care, right? So every time something cool happened, I cheered. You just right? appreciate it. Yeah, I was like, oh, that was good. Oh, that was cool. Like, you know, Kansas City had a good play. Like, that's great. Every Christian McCaffrey run, like, that was awesome. So <clears throat> I don't know. I almost feel like I maybe got the better end of it this year um, because I could just appreciate all of the football and not, like, be like, oh, I want so-and-so to win. You know, had it been, like, the, the Lions and I wanted the, them to win, I've been cheering for them. You know, so... It's kind of nice when I didn't care. I'll be honest. I really enjoyed that. I've seen a lot of chicks talking about how uh, this uh, Super Bowl proved to them why they uh, can't get into sports just because of uh, the end where they like pan the camera over the losing team, just looking yeah. sad while the confetti <laughs> fell on top of them. Yeah, that's there's it. a lot of chicks online saying that it just made them want to cry seeing that. And that's why they don't watch sports. <laughs> that's a time honored tradition of the Super Bowl. Just, so. <laughs> is it really just showing the other yeah, team with the confetti on them looking sad? Yeah, this life, is not, uh, life sucks, huh? <laughs> this is not the first time that they've shown the other team watching the celebration just disappointed. Uh, <laughs> I think this time hurt a lot because I do think they yeah, could have won that Brock game. Pretty picture. Look yeah. at this guy. <laughs> yeah, he could mm -hmm. not. He not. I mean, not Brock specifically, but they could have won the game, which I think made it a little bit harder for them. Uh, that's my personal opinion after watching yeah. it. Uh, yeah. they, 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 I mean, honestly, the biggest mistake was at the was at overtime when they elected to kick to take the ball instead of kick it. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I think that was part of it. They could have won, and I don't know if it was a rule misunderstanding. I know at least one player has admitted that he didn't understand the rules of overtime. Yeah, um, and there was a few reflected on that. The one Kyle Hughes check. Fullback yeah. did admit that. Yeah. And yeah, I think ultimately in layman's terms, um, as you mentioned, it was a game of two halves. And when they were they were up ten to three going into that first half, I think Kyle Shanahan should have run the ball more, Christian McCaffrey. The only mm. way to beat Mahomes is having him not on the field. We did that, as you mentioned, giving the ball to Kansas City right away, putting more pressure to yourself, um, was a big factor. And changing the overtime rules closer to college football, you don't really need a clock. It's basically a golden goal in soccer. You win by scoring and stopping the other team. Well, that uh, used to be um, a rule, right? It, so it changed it. Was, it. They changed yeah. it this year so that both teams get a possession. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Last year, they used to not have that. Ironically, because of Kansas City defeated Buffalo a few years ago, where mm -hmm. prevented Josh Allen from getting the ball. Tom Brady did the same thing to Patrick Mahomes. So giving other giving each team a fair chance was supposed to be the point. And um it ultimately ended with Kansas City winning 25 to 22. Um, Jose, what did you think of the game? Did you win any props? I feel this was a Super Bowl where a lot of the bookmakers won. It'd be really, you'd be have to be really lucky to hit in any of the props. 
Ops, you're right. I I took the over under with uh um the Chiefs. But I'm gonna be real honest with you right now. I didn't care about the game. I actually had a date. And you know, I was trying to be cheap. <laughs> trying so to I went cheap? to I went cheap and it was like oh, instead cheap. of paying for yeah, cheap. I thought you said instead I tried of, to cheat. It's like man, well, that I, is pretty blatant. Well, I, 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 if I was in a relationship, I probably would have cheated. But anyway. So I was being cheap, and I'm like, I'm not going to take it to the movie. The Super Bowl was happening. So we decided to go to the Super Bowl party that I knew. And then I realized that was the worst idea ever. I got a lot of single guys in that party all cop blocking me. So I have learned my lesson. I mean, I could have told you a date to a Super Bowl party would have been... That's... Well, I thought it was a sure thing. I, I could, I thought I could have took it to go see Gumby or something and I'd still get it in. That was not the case. Not well, it's time. not even just that. It's just... What if, like... What if the date was going poorly? You know what I mean? There's no, like... Mm-hmm. There's no out can... at a Super Bowl party. I actually could take an Uber home. What are you talking about? I, yeah, hey, I guess uh, I'm not be. feeling this, and I know you're not as into the Super Bowl as me, so uh, there's an Uber <laughs> out front for you. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I guess. This ain't working. I saw you flirting with the dude next to it at the Fruit Punch Bowl. Like, I'm all right. You can go now. Hmm. Yeah. Kick rocks. Clearly her mistake. But um, the halftime show with Usher mm-hmm. brings out Alicia Keys, who's my favorite female singer, brought out Lil John. Jermaine Dupree, for anyone who actually knows who that was, um, Ludacris. How do we feel about the halftime show? Somebody online tweeted out they thought it was uh, what, they, what they called Jermaine Dupree, a uh, Ozempic CeeLo Green, which I thought was pretty <laughs> funny. Um, I'll be honest with you, at the very beginning, I was like, is that CeeLo Green? I was like, no, it, way too small. Um, yeah. And then, and then I figured out who it was. But uh, when I, and I say figured it out, it's not like, oh, I knew. I didn't know who it was. I looked up, I was like, who is the who is this dude in the pilgrim outfit? And they told me, but, um, uh, yeah, it was an okay halftime show. It, it was better than last year. I wouldn't put it like, super was high, like an all time great Rihanna. With Rihanna. Yeah. I, I know. I, know. I didn't, I didn't get all time great out of watching this one personally. I thought it was good. Um, I think Lil John, I, uh, he was kind of, he was kind of fun. I don't know if I've ever actually seen, any video of him performing live ever? <laughs> uh, Little John. I mean? And so he's actually quite the showman, given that his rap is typically very just exclamatory and not necessarily big on flow, right? So um, he is quite the Get showman. Get out really of your like mind. <laughs> um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. Oh, that's nice. I thought when I watched it, I just thought it was a bunch of has What's Well, that's the, I mean... <laughs> I, mean, I, I I don't use the word has been as much. Ago. Yeah, I don't use has been as much as you would. But the whole point of the Super Bowl is that they're older artists. They're never new oh, people. Oh, yeah, really. Yeah. yeah, name name a new artist that did the Super Bowl. Oh my God, let's go with Kendrick Lamar. He was what five years ago. He was he a was feature with... on someone else's. That was it's different. Still, it's still no, nah, that's different. He's... They don't book new artists. They book old timers who bring in other people, and sometimes they're new artists. Beyonce is the closest thing I can think of to a person who is at the height of their career. Shakira, Bruno Mars, you can Sha- say. Yeah, but Shakira oh, was. Oh. Shakira I'm... wasn't at the height of her career. Yeah, she was not at the height. <laughs> I would say Bruno Mars is the best example of that. Yeah, well, that would that'd be my that would be my other example. Beyonce and Bruno Mars were both active and very popular when they hosted. That's one hundred percent true. But like that's for a long time anyway. That's it. Like back in the day, it used to be a little bit different. But for a while, you know, they went into this people who were you know older, a little bit more iconic status, or a little bit more of like a nostalgia act. Yeah, and I mean, there's not really a lot of like big platforms where you can just see a bunch of like nostalgia acts, really. Right. Yeah. So it's I think it's kind of nice, honestly. Yeah, I did enjoy. I think so too. I I was very bored at the very beginning, and then it picked up a little. And again, I I give a lot of credit to the great Alicia Keys for showing that because I just, she was my favorite part. I think her voice is incredible. And um, she missed clearly, that first note. You know, this is true. I <laughs> dozed off for the first like th- three minutes of the like twelve minute halftime show. I and I, you did tell me you fell asleep. That's true. Mm-hmm. 
Ashley, what did you feel about Usher grabbing up on Alicia Keys? Well, this is part one of our discussing various relationships <laughs> here. This is the um, clearly great friends, but they could get all freaky with each other in front of public relationship. He got so, married that day. Yeah, oh, yeah, he um, did. Yeah, That's I right, guess. Yeah. I guess um, they're famous enough to get permission. Swiss Beats, the husband of Alicia Keys, gave his blessing. So I, you know, that's just weird, rich people stuff. I guess swinging. I had no problem. I don't believe there's any. You I think that's, you, you need to stop. You need that's to stop. an accusation and a half let that me, they must be question. swinging. If your wife, if your wife was on stage and she was Alicia Keys, and okay. Freaking yeah, Usher don't imagine was your wife is Alicia no, Keys. On, you know, this you is, this is serious. This is serious. So you're in this scenario you just gave to me. My wife is Alicia Keys. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm 100 percent okay with it. Wanna know why? Because she's why? a performer. Usher said it best in his song the about how he's done. Hey, he in his song, he doesn't mind if she dances on a pole. It doesn't make her, you know. Uh that's an yeah, Usher song. He saying. said it best. This I mean, I guess it's kind of like actors that have yeah. sex scenes in their movies but right. have uh marriages outside of it. It's a profession. It's Denzel a profession said to that forgive me if I Listen. do, forgive me if I don't. I, I don't know, I guess. Profe it's it's a, just... If it's professional. <laughs> now, if Usher came to my home and did that to my wife and my wife is just my current wife, I would be a little bit upset. I feel like, yeah. I feel like you got too comfortable with your, where your right hand is at on her left hip. So I'm oh. like, if it was on TV, you imagine what they did in the bedroom. That one about performance grabbing her tit is a performance. It was all stop. part. Of, it's all part of the. the There's show. always <laughs> that one person that will always have and your heart. Classic song. that song. You know what else is classic? Wasn't it a couple years ago? Usher was being sued for passing herpes. Now oh. Swift Beats, my boy. Go look it up. My we boy, missed that tweet. I get tested. Well, you, you know what? I think this proves it. If Alicia is, you know. I think she's faithful. I think it was performance. I think everyone's fine, except for Usher, apparently, who has herpes. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, I saw someone say he looked like a giant herpes, like, I, I think two times on Reddit. Maybe that's why. Maybe they <laughs> had that, the that knowledge that we didn't have about Usher's uh, background. That's I've never heard that story, so I'll take your word for it, but I've never heard that before. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. What? Why do we now transition to talk about the commercials of the Super Bowl? Mm -hmm. And clearly the best commercial was the Duncan, the Duncan one, that the Duncan so, Kings. That was very good. <laughs> with um um Brady, Ben Affleck, Matt Damon. By the way, I, I want to say above average year for the commercials. I really like the Google, the Google, um uh the Google one with the guy who is blind finding love. That was sweet. That was nice. Um, State Farm and Arnold's uh, like a good neighbor. Neighbor. Um, stuff like that was pretty sweet. Uh, those come to the top of my head. Um, Michael Sarah with Sarah V, which I always notice because I see Sarah V in my house, and I've seen Sarah V a lot. I always thought of Michael Sarah there, and clearly my uh, assumptions became true because he is associated with them. Yeah, I mean, has to with the name right there, right? Mm -hmm. You just have to. Uh, they had, a, I want to say it was them. They had another commercial that they didn't actually air, but another Super Bowl commercial with a, a, a dad watching Kansas City and his daughter not paying attention. And then finally his daughter getting into it. It was about the Taylor Swift thing. And I thought that was actually a really sweet commercial. And I get maybe why they didn't put it out because it was very clearly about Kansas City, who was <laughs> in the game, right? But I kind of thought that was a sweet commercial. I wish they had used that one too. Um, but I mean, it's also seven million dollars. So they maybe weren't trying to spend fourteen million dollars just to have a sweet moment on TV. <laughs> the one is enough, you know. Just release the other stuff on YouTube. You know, speaking of that, did we see Kanye West's commercial shot on an iPhone where so he I simply didn't see it in the game? I saw it. I saw it, but I didn't see it yeah. in the game. I, I saw said, it so you just see this guy just on an iPhone promoting his whatever. And he's like, man, we only had enough money to actually buy the commercial time. And so this is me. <laughs> I could, I could just imagine him like literally texting or 
me and me and the producer on the show, Dolo, we sent clips via we transfer. I could just like he they literally <laughs> we transferred it to the uh to CVS like that. Talk about quality. No such thing. I mean, I've uh, uh, first of all, Kanye had a new album coming out, coming out. Hadn't been released yet. Out. Yeah, it, or then it was well, just it, ca- it came. It came out on it came out on Friday, this okay. Friday. So, yeah, so then then last they came yeah, out right last before. week. So it had just come out. So the the fact that he couldn't think of a single thing to advertise, <laughs> like coherently, because it's all incoherent. The rambling, and he says, "Buy what do you want? Buy shoes or something." Um, at the very end, that was yeah, his, it was about yeah. Yeezys. So, like, the fact that he couldn't think of anything to advertise, so spent most of that time talking about how he couldn't think of anything to advertise and didn't have, you know, they spent all their money to get the ad. Also, and I was saying to Matt about more than just this commercial, but this commercial was evidence of it, too. He's not okay, guys. I don't know if anyone knows Kanye. Like, if you do, like Matt, you know, like Matt said, call and check it. And, like, I don't know. He must have people around him who just don't care about him at all. Because what are you talking about? He has a lovely wife. You seen them pictures? <laughs> I've, I've seen them. You know what? It, when you're when your loved one is suffering, sometimes Ooh, it's hard. Boy. I'm not even gonna blame. Her. Listen, I I, I, I mean be... you're you're being facetious, and I can tell, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm saying someone with a clear head about this has to step in and be like, "All right, Kanye, what's going on? Like, you okay?" Um, and like really try and lock in exactly what's happening right now because it's can you, a little scary. That commercial you, to me was a little like the Joker in the Dark Knight <laughs> with the with that the shaky. I camera. have a I have a close friend who's autistic and he was obsessed with Kanye because he also has autism and he's like oh like he's so creative. I love his music. He makes us look so good. And now he's like. I don't. I don't want to say this is autism. This has to be something else at this point because he's making me look bad. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. He, but, he's got something going on. Maybe, uh, like he's just not willing to listen to the people around him that are maybe trying to help him. So and they might just be in a tough spot trying to uh, get through to him. Yeah. Memorable commercial though. And people just you know him. Yeah. It, it was really funny though. Memorable commercial. So. Did um what other ones really stuck out, if any? Well, my favorite still is the Paramount one, and I was so disappointed because I this is true I was hyping up the Paramount commercial, um but at the Super Bowl, they cut it. It was cut significantly <laughs> from, the, from the one that they released the full one they released on socials beforehand. And I'm. It made me look bad because I I proclaimed that it was gonna be the best commercial of the night, and it wasn't. The the way they cut it, they got rid of some of the best bits in that thing. Um, so that was a, both a big disappointment. But I did see the full one, so I still very much um go with it. Also, um, you you said the Google one. I really like that the Google Pixel one. Yeah, that was, that was that a was, Google Pixel. So. Yeah, uh, I thought the the minions one was kind of fun too, making fun of the AI. Art. Did they did they air the Wicked trailer at the Super Bowl? Oh uh, yeah. yes, they did. Oh yeah, I didn't see it, but that was released to the public now. That, that's gonna make that movie like that's gonna make it so hard to break even on that movie. <laughs> um, I'm very, I mean, at least interested in the movie. I didn't expect Ariana Grande to be a. Uh... Uh, one of the mains, honestly. She but, broke up uh, a whole family over it. <laughs> she really? Yeah, we yeah. covered that. Check out that episode, guys. Yeah, all of that. <laughs> what did I'll, what did I'll... she do, Rye, really quick? So we can Oh, one of educate. her co stars. Don't remember his name, doesn't really matter. He's the SpongeBob. Broadway. Yeah, he's the you know Broadway what's... actor who plays SpongeBob. Uh he left his wife oh. and young child. I want to say like one year old mm-hmm. child and is now dating Ariana Newborn. Grande who left. Oh, and who then left her I, I heard the drama ba- around that uh Oh, that song she has. What is it? Uh, that brand new one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, SpongeBob it, Square Pits. To, I love you. That was song. supposed to be Listen. like her throwing shade at them or something. Yeah. Like, at his something family. Like that, yeah. You not him. I mean, they're still together, well, I believe. But. No, no, not at him, but like at the whole situation surrounding oh, yeah, that. Talking about it. Yeah. That's one ugly dude. He got lucky. I don't know what. <laughs> He must have. He's some probably game. goofy. Bitches love goofy guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, something down there that's really big. Yeah. Should be that too. 
Unbelievable. He, he touch, hey, touch crash. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 Inside joke. Now, why don't we move on? I think we hit all the commercials, right? And yeah. Kansas City wins after all that's 25 to 22. And the partying started. How about that? First of all, Taylor and Kelsey have another genuine moment. Let me tell you something. I was about to not believe anything was real ever again. It was so the play before. So there was two instances in the at the end of the fourth quarter where Kelsey was the targeted receiver to win the Super Bowl before they had to kick a field goal to tie it. It was literally to him. He just missed it by um, the linebacker Burks, who had the only good play because Dre <laughs> Greenlaw came out came out of the game due to a tour to Achilles and Burks. That was backup. crazy. Yeah, just ran on the field. First half, Travis Kelsey, one catch. Second half, nine catches. So clearly that injury killed that defense's momentum. That was a huge loss. Capped on defense and everything. But the only play it see that worked out for Burks was um him contesting Kelsey and the ball was mm-hmm. thrown to him and he missed it. The play before they got the game tying field goal to bring in an overtime. I mean, like, it was right there. It was right there for him to have a Super Bowl winning touchdown. And then the, the, and then, and the overtime period where they're in the red zone on San Francisco's like five, and you have Kelsey throwing the ball again over his head, just miss. And then the second play after, they double team Kelsey, leaving McCole (laughs) Hardman open to have the game winning. Touchdown, former New York Jet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what a out of all the people, the guy the Jets traded away. I mean, that's one. fine because the he couldn't do that on the Jets because Zach Wilson would have had to throw him the ball, which is not possible. So. <laughs> exactly. But my point is, they were all about to have the most. I don't even know what to say that moment. But regardless, <clears throat> they celebrate together. They're hanging out in the club. Um, Kelsey also, it's Kelsey. I will say, as long as you're Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift's boyfriend, you can yell and scream at your coach and push him around. But as long as you're Kelsey, <laughs> and win the game after. Yeah, I, I, that was some some folks made a mountain out of a molehill for that <laughs> one. He yelled at a football game, the most important football game of his entire season. I think it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. But how did you see all that footage of them partying and Jason Kelsey with his Rey Mysterio Kansas City mask? So he said he found that. What? Really? He was he said he went to a club, it was on the ground, and he, he took picked it. it up and put it on and then didn't take it off for the rest of the night. He said he on their on their show like today, I think, or yesterday, sometime this yesterday. week. Yeah. Yeah, sometime this week they they were talking about the partying on their show, and he was like, "Yeah, I just found that, which is crazy." He's like, and then it fit him kind of too. Like it didn't look super small. <laughs> like there was just a Jason Kelsey sized uh, luchador mask on the ground in Las Vegas, and he just picked it up and became his outfit. It was also crazy because you know Travis and Taylor. I would say, you know, I'm not the most fashionable, but they they were looking very fashionable. You know, like looking like they were going out. And the Jason Kelsey. He looked like uh, like one of those creatures from like Foster's Home for Imaginary yeah. Friends. He had the overall <laughs> in the lucha mask. Uh-huh. He he was something else. <laughs> My favorite one was when they said that he was your created character in a video game adventure yeah, series. In the scene, yeah. Yeah. And he's in the cutscenes. <laughs> yeah. Like GTA Online when you're get setting up the heist. And so they have like the main characters walking to the car, and then you walk next to those characters, but you're shirtless and you know your hair is in a faux hawk that's purple. <laughs> wow. Well, anyways, again, it's okay. You could party, you could get extra drunk as long as you're the most famous people in the world. I mean, the <laughs> whole team was getting absolutely obliterated. It wasn't just them. I don't think. That well, that- the camera showed that it was only them. Well the, well, the camera followed them because that's who was going to get engagement. But the rest of the team party, I will, too. You know, I will say, I will say, there's just so much footage of people clearly creeping on them. Like, this is local footage. Yeah. There was one There was one clip. It's not as viral, but I saw it where Travis is hitting something, whether it's a weed I pen. I saw that, or, too. I saw that, And then too. you see Taylor 
she looking asks like she hit. asked for a hit. And, and he goes, he... someone's watching. And so she goes, oh. And then they she just let, let drops it. Yeah, I saw that too. And I'm not a huge lip reader person. I don't believe in like, it's <laughs> there's not a high accuracy when you're lip reading. But right. that was very clearly what was happening. She was clearly asking if she could take a hit. He is like, someone's filming you. And she's like, oh, oh okay. Can you imagine that image? The light, I know. The, well, good the for Swifties him for catching that. that. Like, good for him for catching that. I mean, the majority of Taylor thing. Swift's fans at this point are old enough that she shouldn't feel like she's going to get that judged. She still for something means like true. She still means a lot to kids, though. Little kids. She's does Santa. She? Uh, yeah, really? she does. Yeah, I mean, you still see videos she's of like Santa. little kids who's like our fans and their moms are fans and like they go to the concerts together yeah yeah like little little kids yeah, yeah little I just, kids when I, yeah when i'm thinking like younger audiences i'm thinking like teenagers preteens no. i don't think any of them are into taylor swift oh i think they are but i don't some, think they're, some of them but i don't think they're gonna do or i mean i think they're probably all jeweling or I, what is the pop <laughs> <vape? laughs> i don't know i'm an uh, old man but like but vaping they're vaping yeah vaping yeah, yeah. They're doing some sort of or weed pen, like you said. Uh, so I don't think that Taylor would inspire them to start. But I could see for her brand and not even just in like a way like I got to protect my brand. But like, yeah, I mean, she's got like the kind of like model. goody, like all American girl image going yeah, on, it, I guess. It's to be a role model for those little kids who are like whose parents were into her and then they're now into her. I could see why you might want to just leave that behind for the night. You know, do it later when no one's yeah. watching. But, Man. but yeah, I saw that, Matt. That that was that was my fate. That was hilarious. And here is a story that we we're about to start a debate, everybody. Oh god. Right. Here we go, right? All right, let me make sure I get this exactly right. <clears throat> let me read you all a headline. This is from page six. Um and and by the way, a story dropped four hours only to help my cause. Here it is. Alyssa Milano, everybody know her. She was in Charmed and big in the 90s. Alyssa Milano blasted for attending Pricey Super Bowl 2024 with son after asking for money for his baseball team. So Alyssa oh, Milano. I saw that. <laughs> All right. Perfect. This is going to be interesting. OK, here we go. Alyssa Milano. She's a pretty famous actress. She's worth about 40 million dollars. I looked up. She Not was best known for being Charmed. She's she's a millionaire regardless. She has a it's lot multi, of money. Multi-millionaire. multi-millionaire. Yes. So the week of the Super Bowl, she tweets out a GoFundMe for her son's baseball team so they could go to Cooperstown. Okay. That's night that's weird. You're a celebrity doing that, okay. But you're telling me a few days later she goes to the Super Bowl where they average about two thousand dollars a ticket, yet you're asking the public. To fund her trip. Now I'm not saying that she has to pay for the whole thing, but it's a bit suspect and outright lame that she is asking the public for money when her she's going to this expensive Super Bowl event. Literally, a story dropped by the Daily Mail four hours ago. Melissa Milano dines with uh, dines at expensive upscale restaurant Nobu with husband a man amongst. Controversy over starting a GoFundMe for her son's baseball team. So she could go and spend a thousand dollars at a uh, high end restaurant, but she needs to ask us to pay for her son's trip. OK, we OK. I actually saw this before uh, she went to the Super Bowl. Like I knew about this way before the Super Bowl. There was a bunch yeah. of talk on TikTok about it. So yeah. I have to defend her a little bit because there were uh, like a bunch of parents from it's it's like a sports drive for the team it wasn't necessarily her saying you know i don't have the money to pay for this which i'm hoping she did contribute quite a bit considering she's rich otherwise i would think she's not a very nice person but uh like the, she wasn't the only parent that did it like a bunch of parents were posting gofundmes for like their kids like a sports drive kind of thing and like that's a normal parent thing to do but because she's rich people were like Assuming it was just a charity drive, I guess. Jose, Jose, what do you think? Jose, what do you think? Oh, yeah, I'll go you... with. I'll go with. I'm on her no, side. No, 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 no. Yeah, go with what you believe. This is important. Don't if, for, if trust I me. Was, we're gonna yell see, in a second. Well, if I was rich, I'm not paying for them brats. I pay for <laughs> my kids. I ain't paying for them. The other base, the, the other crappy baseball players on my on my son's team. 
But you would help them out by posting. No, the no, link. no. I'm. You know what? I'm helping them out. Yeah, exactly. By posting post the link, link. Posting the link, and then I'll put my name on it for y'all. Be like, yeah. come on, contribute for these other bums. But my kids, <laughs> me, we straight. My my kids paid for, but uh, these other little shits. If you guys yeah. want to help out, that's your prerogative. Right, M- M- Michael, the second baseman that can't hit a home run for crap. Yeah, you go help him. I more so think like I would uh like badly judge her if she hasn't contributed a decent amount, but I don't actually know if that's known or not if she has. It's not. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, well, maybe. But she I'll definitely be... is showing why she should. Yeah, yeah she but, definitely like, should, but I don't think it's bad for her to have posted the GoFundMe when other parents for the team have yes. also done All so. Right. Here it is. Why I would can't, she I can't to? sit wait, here anymore. I can't sit wait, here. Anymore. Wait, wait, why would she have to? Thank why you, would she Jose. have to post the GoFundMe? No, have to contribute. He, she, well, she has to pay she for her. her kid. Yeah, I think I think pay it's just that's enough. That's enough. I, that's all I, yeah, support. pay for her kid. No, Jose, I think we're it's, in agreement. It, it's morally we're good if she has more money oh, than the other did. parents to contribute a little extra. So, so here's the thing: the people online who are mad about this, I'm going to need you guys to take as many seats as you have available to you. If she had bought that entire team a chartered plane to Cooperstown, they're in California, by the way. It's not like they're nearby. They're going to take a freaking van. They got to fly <laughs> there. They got to pay for the game. They have to pay for the everything that once they get there. So this is not going to be a cheap trip. So if she had chartered a plane for everyone on that team to get to Cooperstown, got everyone a hotel room, you know what you people would be doing online? You'd be complaining that Alyssa, Alyssa Milano got a chartered plane and paid for all this stuff, blah, 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 just crying. This is all people wanting to be mad. This is all people. <laughs> and Matt, I am 1,000% lumping you into this group of people who just Good. wanted to be upset on the internet for absolutely no freaking reason on Tuesday. And this is what came <laughs> out of it. There's no logic. Certainly, there's no logical way to say she should pay for just her kid and butt out. No, if you if you believe, you know what, you're a multimillionaire, pay for the whole thing. Help these kids out. I think you're robbing these kids of a some self reliance and b. This is most important: giving a group of kids access to opportunities that other kids, thousands of other kids who look to sports for community and sometimes even more across the country, don't get. Because their ma, they're they're not friends with Alyssa Milano's kid, so I think that's incredibly inequitable. But at least I can see the logic behind. You're a multimillionaire. You pay for everything. Don't ask me. All right, I get the logic. The logic of well, she should pay and she should pay more, but she shouldn't tell anybody. No, every other parent posted it. That's what you do when you're a parent. You post stuff about yeah. your kid. This is a total non-story. And I'll tell you another thing. The Super Bowl thing is not a big deal. You know how many celebrities went to the Super Bowl? They showed all of them on TV. Alyssa Milano didn't get no TV time, by the way. LeBron was on three times. <laughs> they called Jay-Z the greatest rapper of all time, which is a ludicrous statement, but that's what CBS decided go. to do. So whatever. Like, there's tons of celebrities who went to that thing. No one said a darn word about LeBron's box seats. LeBron is not associated with Vegas. He's not associated with either of the teams in there. He's just super rich and got a box seat to the Super Bowl. No one bad in an eye. But Alyssa Milano gets regular tickets with her and her son to watch the Super Bowl. But because her son is going to Cooperstown in a month, all of a sudden she's public enemy number one. Literally cry me a river. Absolutely yeah, insane. The reaction to this was absolutely insane. There is no rationale that makes any sense. There's nothing you could say to change the fact that this was just people looking to be obnoxious online and finding a target. And she said it best. She said, if I had paid for everything, which she, she said she couldn't do, now that's probably not true, but whatever, then they would have been mad about something else. And that's what it was. People woke up and said, I want to be mad at Alyssa Milano today. And the fact that they're still publishing stories, oh, she went out to dinner. Yeah, yeah she's Alyssa freaking Milano. Of course she went out to fancy dinner. She's got, she's a multimillionaire. Yeah, it's but like don't posted, ask the it's public not, to help you out, though. That's all yeah, we're saying. Yeah, but it's saying. not like she posted, she didn't, she didn't post the GoFundMe and say, I'm so poor, please, yes, wasn't a help please her. help. So it, just because it was a link, it was okay. If Yes, it's like if she was like, save the manatees. But it's yeah, 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 exactly. If she posted a donation link for like, uh, I don't you're know. Paying, like You're not paying her rent. You're helping some, you know, little Giuseppe on third base go to Cooperstown. That's what yeah. you're doing. It's and, and it's not just her, right? Like all the other parents posted it because that's just like a normal parent thing to do for the sports teams. And it just so happens that she has a lot better reach than they do. So maybe it was even good for her to post it until the reactions. Man, it's too bad the comments were censored. 
It's because she I'm knows what? she's been on the internet before. Because she knows she's why. wrong for this too. And how because she knows this it is was how the internet to know, works. Though. This she could have said something works. in that in that 140 characters. You know, I, even though I'm very famous and have a lot of money, this is specifically that would have been to help worse. everyone else. You guys would have been like, oh, she says she's famous and has money, but she's I would not be story. as bad because nah, she's nah, at nah, least nah. aware of the situation. Honest. This is all hindsight. Uh, you're, re, you're reconfiguring no. how you would have felt. I'm right in anything. this. On Tuesday, I'm right. On Tuesday, I'm right. you all woke up angry. That's what happened. You woke <laughs> like, up angry, angry on Tuesday, Milano. and you said, Alyssa Milano is getting in trouble today. <laughs> if it's the last thing I do, doesn't matter what she had said, that's what would have happened. But isn't it because I thought the whole time they were just beefing with her because of the Shannon Doherty thing? Like I mean, a couple weeks happened. ago. People don't like her for that in general, yeah. But that's not what she, she was yeah, saying. She is annoying in real life. Ooh. Who's Alyssa, Alyssa Milano? That's why she doesn't she, get a lot of roles. Matt, you need to, to work stop. With. I'm going off what people are saying. I'm going off what people are saying. Also, like even if she, people. even if she is annoying, like I said this to you privately, I was like, let's say all of the other stuff is true. That doesn't make any of the things that happened this week to her right. Everyone is still wrong, even though there's a lot of you. You're still wrong. There's just multiple of you are wrong, and has nothing to do with her being annoying. Like that's you not know, like, what you're complaining I, about. I, I get it's, the first reaction to it, but like when you look at it deeper, the fact that all the other parents did it, it's a normal parent thing to do. She shouldn't have to pay for every single charity ever. She probably contributed money. I would assume so. To me, the whole thing was just stupid. Stupid beef that people tried to start with Alyssa Milano. And unfortunately, I will say to Matt's credit, it worked. The majority of the internet agreed with Matt, which makes the majority of them wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, to be clear, I said this to Matt too. It's like, just because 80% of people are saying something doesn't mean it's right. It just means 80% of people are saying something. You could be in the majority and totally wrong, as Matt is in this particular case. Come on. But I'm right. She didn't have to do that. She should have done so. Do a burner account. Wrong. Do burner a burner account. account. Why? Why? So if you want to get that out there. Hey, no one knows me. But so Alyssa if she Milano wants to post a, a donation a link, if she wants to post like a donation link for like save the whales or something, she should do it anonymously. Otherwise, yeah. she should have to <laughs> pay has, all right. the money to she save every money, whale. She could save the whales <laughs> herself. You got money, Alyssa. <laughs> you fix the problems. <laughs> did they hit their goal? Ridiculous. Yeah, they did. Well, and then she did job well done. She did enjoy your <laughs> enjoy your meal at Nobu, whatever the hell it's called. Exactly, <laughs> she did. She literally, you, you and she is not engaged with this at all. By the way, she's not yeah. posted about this because she knows what's going to happen to her. No, because she knows this. <laughs> you guys are rabid about this for no reason. That's why she didn't engage. She's like, oh, do I want to get yelled at online today? No. Yeah, I would just ignore it for a month, and then everyone will forget. So. <laughs> Exactly, because it's not not serious. It's not a real beef. People just woke up angry. Look at that, Ryan. I like when you agree with me. It doesn't More happen anything. often. It doesn't happen. I'm often. setting up the, uh, <laughs> the the. I'm just setting up the next segment really quick. But ultimately, Alyssa Milano, if she was just a nice person, it wasn't hard to work no. with. Then this wouldn't have happened. So what I'm hearing is you think she deserves the death penalty. I didn't say that. I'm just saying that this could have all been prevented if she was a nice person. <laughs> no, this could have all been prevented if the people total, didn't wake up mad. <laughs> the total, if the totality of people on Twitter or X or whatever were just a little bit, a little bit less pocket watching, a little bit less angry on Tuesday. That's what would have made this better. And I get times are hard. I don't have a ton of money either. I get it. Like I get being mad that celebrities are richer than me, but they're gonna be richer than you tomorrow. And they're going to be richer than you the next day. So this is silly. This is all silly. <laughs> all right, let's continue on with our theme. All right. So there is a, though, this is a post Super Bowl Valentine's Day theme tweet cap. Now, let's talk about a f alleged friend zone relationship, a shocked one. Who knows what's going on? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, the NFL's second biggest relationship. The sorry, I should say the second biggest relationship NFL fans care about involves Kay Adams, who is amazing. I love Kay Adams. She is the host of FanDuel, one of the hosts on FanDuel. And then we have Shams Char. I, I can't pronounce his last. I'm sorry. Um, Shams Sher Shams Sher 
We're calling him Shams. He's owned by Shams anyways. <laughs> Shams is a well-versed and very respected uh, NBA journalist. He's known for getting stories right. He gets them. Um, it's but either if he reports on an NBA story, you know it's true. And we've seen Shams go become a guest on K. Adams. So K pretty much covers NFL 75% of the year. But the little she does other sports would be NBA. So Shams brings Shams in, right? And Shams clearly has a little cl- a crush on K. Adams like a lot of people. And let us show an example of Shams shooting his shot on the show, on K's show. So give us one second. Shams shooting his shot on the show. Look at that alliteration. All right, you ready? Here we go. I wasn't able to download the video on time, but we have the clip on YouTube. Ready? Yeah. I knew what I wanted to do. Yeah. Driving to Milwaukee, Indiana to cover games and like missing out on social life, missing out on school life. So, yeah. um, so when we have kids, I'm thing. kidding. <laughs> You're Ooh. totally kidding. Shams, last time you were you and I were together, I had a little fun with you. We set the internet on fire, like four million views, something like that. How? Why did that happen? Explain this to me. Oh, I don't know. But you know what? I'll say it happened organically, so I'll give the internet credit for that. I was just, you know, enjoying my Thanksgiving week. I, I'm sure you are too. I just want you to explain to me, what is a Riz God? I honestly don't know. I still don't know. I've 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 been reading tweets about it. I've tried, you know, my brother's 20. Oh, let's look at uh, that. You know, I, I asked him about it. I, I don't know. Okay, so. here it is. To be one with the ability to spit immense game with ease towards a female and make them fall into a charm over you. Because all I got was Riz God, Riz God, Riz God, Trump is the man, Riz God. <laughs> okay, I, I, I so knew what I we get the gist right here, right? And there's plenty of examples. And Kay invited Shams to her Super Bowl party on Twitter on Super Bowl week. Mm, and nice. then when asked, and then when asked, did you guys meet? She wrote this tweet. I was. Bestie. <laughs> Thanks to FanDuel for letting us be a part of Super Bowl Sunday. I mean, what what the hell is this? Besties? Come on, what's uh, going on see, here? here? All right. And this week on her show, I don't have the clip. Shams gave her a Valentine's Day gift of shoes. So this is clearly a complicated relationship. We want this to work out for Shams because he's fulfilling some. A lot of people, he he might be pulling off a lot of people's dreams, if you know what I'm saying. Um, uh, uh, And uh, I was very sad to see the word bestie. Do you think this is just a cover up or from what you've seen? In that little piece of content, something might be brewing. I don't know them. Like, <clears throat> I don't know anything about either of them personally. But uh, physically, I think they look really cute together. I was going to say that. They do actually look like yeah. a pretty good yeah. couple. Yeah, this is not besties. This has to well, work. Okay, also, as a chick, like, uh, a lot of times writing besties is almost a, uh, like, flirtatious joke. It can Uh-oh. be at times, not always. Like, you know, you're just messing around with people because it's pretty obvious you're not besties if you catch my drift. Yeah, I didn't but, actually I mean, take... that might not be the case. I don't know. Well, I, yeah, I'm I don't gonna believe that. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I didn't know that besties would ever be used. Like, like you're kind of saying, like, ironically, like besties, even though because we're clearly not. But I also didn't when I saw that tweet, I was not like, oh, well, clearly they're just friends. Uh, I, I it looked like almost like it was meant to be a playful tweet. It wasn't meant to set the Internet on fire. And so maybe she just threw it. It's like almost like when you throw an LOL when you're not even pretend laughing uh, into a, se- a text. You just to say it to make, keep just it say light. It just because keep it light. You know what I mean? It just yeah. always felt like besties was just keep it light. You know what I mean? We're not trying to be like, yeah, he came over. Like, just be like, yeah, besties. Um, so I, I didn't take it as a serious tweet, uh, to be honest with you. I, I didn't take anything from that tweet to mean anything other than he he was with her during the Super Bowl. Um, so yeah, I, if you're, if you're trying to, is ship the still, what we say, yeah, yeah, if you're ship. shipping, uh, what's this? If you, yeah, if you're shipping them, then I think there's still, uh, hope. I, I don't even know what shipping me. What, what is that? That's oh, like when on. you uh, want two people to get together. Like if you were to oh. ship Biden and Trump or something, and then you give them, <laughs> sometimes you give them like a cute name, like bump. Yeah. <laughs> Jose, what, what are you getting out of this? What are you getting out of this? They're just doing it for likes. Think damn. So? You think it's all play? What guy would freaking let? I'd be damn if some girl called me bestie. All right. No, one. That's, that's so you don't think there's a chance yeah, for Sean to 
No, it's not. Because, all right, out of a big thing of it, let's think of it. They organically got 4 million views or whatever off this book. Right? She was cr- then, flirting that's... back, too. I just want to point that out. Yeah, but they're playing that off. They get likes. Now she's more known. Everybody's talking about it, And then everybody's going to ask her, did you guys meet? Yeah, we did meet. Besties. Done. All right, cool. They're not sleeping together. They're not doing any of that. I mean, yeah, my no wife. Chance. My wife is my best friend. So, well, my wife. Yeah, I get my it. Boyfriend but she, my boyfriend's my best friend. <laughs> there you go. I yeah, I get it. But you guys weren't best friends when you were knocking boots, correct? Yeah. No, before. Listen, it's not. Mean, before, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. telling you right now. Previous to that, you guys and then were we friends. Started dating. You guys met as friends. You got to know each other as friends. You right. didn't do an interview. As you just happen to call bestie is one of my point. It's just that it's just, she's basically cock teasing us because she knows we both want all this. They come, they want them together, and it's not going to happen. It's it's not. I think that Damn. you're probably right in that. I think Jose's probably right in that they're currently probably just talking or whatever. They're not anything they're in the serious stage. at the moment. Is it a situation? I don't be talking. It might is it a situation? But I don't think that. Them being friends right now precludes it from being something based in a romantic interest with one another. I don't think that where did you could tell like one of the interviews was like a video, like a video interview, like a Zoom interview. She's crushing so he, on him. She, oh no, you yeah. need to stop, Brian. Did you hear that first joke? Did you hear that first joke? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think she would say that joke if there wasn't a little something there. So when we so when we have kids, her joke, not his. Yes. She's crushing on him. And why are they saying besties? This is confusing. It was just meant to be, I think, a I'm pretty sure when I was in high school, I made a a post with a guy who later became my boyfriend and said besties, and it was the two of us going like yeah, Man, I, I don't need, think I need to do this then. I think That's the best is, I think the bestest thing is is a non issue. I don't think it's related at all. Yeah, I, I don't think it means anything at all, or it could mean something, but it doesn't matter. It's not worth it to think about. But no, hey. I don't know that he. I don't know if he's into her. To be clear, nothing has made that. I mean, you said he bought her shoes. That's something. But uh, no, she he bought her shoes. Yeah, he on Valentine's Day. Shoes. Like on Valentine's Day, yeah, apparently. Oh and then he threw like little flirt. He's thrown flirt. He's flirted with her on the air and stuff okay. like that. Called her beautiful and stuff like that. I Do call it maybe this isn't... beautiful. That don't mean anything. I mean, a guy I, saying beautiful. I, I'd, have to, I'd, have, I'd have to. I'd have to show the clips, I, and that's uh, on me no, for not good. having enough of them. But no, it's all right. It's all right. Um, I believe he definitely flirted back. Hence, where this Briz God was saying. Okay, yeah, I, that's I, interesting. I give you, the, you, you might convince me to go on your side. But for right now, I just think it's, just, it's not happening. Do you, you think, think age could be a factor? Stuff? I'm just wondering. Wait, yeah, so how Shams old are actually they? is our age. Shams is 29 and Kay is 37. Oh. Interesting. Huh. I didn't know yeah, Shams I don't know. That's young. weird. She's 37? Yeah. I'm about to go slip in the DMs, kid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Amen. Well. We keep hope alive. Yeah, Anything's we'll possible. Happens. And now let's talk about a breakup. Um, okay. <laughs> so this was this was interesting. We have Sean. We have Sean Evans, the host of First We Feast Hot Ones. Right. Everybody's seen him interview various celebrities, which are legitimately great interviews as they try to get through very hot chicken wings. Right. So it was reported on Wednesday that he is dating. Porn star Melissa Stratton. So many people had comments to say, including this one, which I'm about to share right now. So, and the thing about Melissa, she's an adult film star, right? Pretty cool. Um, so in, a lot of people had a lot to say, you know, various opinions, people laughing, people clowning, people supporting, and all that, which also included Adam 22, the famous adult film star and podcaster. He says here, quote, congrats, Sean. Her thingamajiggy is fired. <laughs> All right. So we know what that means. And clearly they have made content together in that sense. And um, Sean and Adam are most likely Eskimo bros, as they say. But amongst this, 24 hours later, it was reported that they broke up. Now, Adam 22 has released a statement on this. 
literally just now. So why don't we see how Adam 22 feels about the breakup of Sean Evans and Melissa Stratton? Hey, Sean Evans, you know what I'm not feeling? I'm not feeling you breaking a sex worker's heart on Valentine's Day. Nobody deserves that. Melissa Stratton, she's a beautiful woman. Yes, she has chosen to have sex on camera for her career. Yes, she has had 13-inch dicks in and around her face, mouth, possibly butthole. I don't know. I got to go search it up. (laughs) But you are playing with her heart, and that's not cool because she's a woman. And Valentine's Day is a sacred holiday, and you're supposed to treat girls right on Valentine's Day. Sean, I don't know why I have to tell you this. I feel like, you know, your parents probably should have taught you this at a certain point, but uh, Sean, you really don't want smoke with the sex worker community. So I would appreciate if you would apologize to Melissa for publicly shaming her on Valentine's Day, the sacredest of days. And then also I would like to invite you to come and lay something down on the plug talk couch. Let's see what you're packing. Hey, so that Sean is referring Evans. to his viral <laughs> podcast. And I actually completely agree with Adam 22. Like, that is kind of strange. Sorry. That is kind of strange how after the announcement of their relationship and his viral response, the relationship actually ended. And and we don't know the story. I think it wouldn't actually be terrible. And I think it'd even be good on a PR standpoint for Sean to actually make a statement because – yeah, 24 hours on Valentine's Day, something's up. What what do we think about this? Yeah, I mean, we keep saying we don't know what happened. And I guess technically we don't. But I mean, I've talked to people about this. And everybody, when it was announced yesterday, was clowning the dude. Why? He cl- well, I agree why, but I'm saying it was happening. Right. The, the, overarching, the overarching sentiment online was that this was somehow bad for Sean Evans and they were making fun of him. And so I think he probably just couldn't handle that. And, and so he broke it off. I mean, if he's going to break stupid. up with her just based off of what the public's reaction is, then it's she's, probably she's for better her best off. anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. She's better, she's better off. And uh, he looks well terrible from this. And I mean, like, it's not like he didn't know, right? It's like he had just found out because of this maybe it would be like that would make some oh, more yeah, sense if it wasn't disclosed sense. but there's no way he wouldn't have known you would think that yeah you would think that it was something that he was aware of but i do think again i do think that the reason is clearly because folks online said what they said they were chirping him about this which i think is is silly the idea that you can't date someone who works, you know, as an adult. Yeah, film I mean, you don't. I think silly, I think it's so. a it's a fair boundary not to want to date someone like that. But at the same time, if somebody's fine with it, I think it's pretty uh, tasteless to try to shit on them for it. Right. That's what. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's Your one thing. Preference. If you're, yeah. If you're not into it, but it, again, if he wasn't into it, then why did he well, enter I, into the relationship? I'm that's, so curious, yeah. Ryan. Would you, if you were a single man, single would man, you yeah. date her? Sure. If I mean, if we got along and we had a good time, yeah. Even though you know her contri- uh, career choices, you'd be all right yeah. with that. I, I don't care. What well, what I what do I have to care about? I, I agree. Yeah, I I, I make know. it I make adult content, right? And even me, I would not date somebody who makes that kind of content. I've never like slept with other people besides my current boyfriend, like on camera online. So. I think that's part of the reason he was okay with it. But if I had other clips of me or I had worked with other people and that was on the internet, I don't think he would be dating me. And I also wouldn't be able to date somebody in that case. But, yeah. you know, I'm not going to clown somebody for being different from me. Right. right. It's, a, it's a personal thing. I mean, yeah. I mean listen, I'm not, I, I'm not, I would never feel myself doing anything. So <laughs> yeah. it's not even like, you know what I mean? Like, my, but then what if AI that, stuff that, that gets released? World. You got to get ahead of the game. You got to get the good angles and shots. So if you have anything ever released against your will, you already have the good pictures out there. Again, like I said, I'm I'm not worried about that. Um, Ryan, you ah. didn't do like you and your wife. You didn't do like a private tape for you, both of y'all. <laughs> I, actually, I'll, I I will answer that. No, <laughs> I don't always answer questions have like you, that. Jose. <laughs> I think I have a tape. I think I have like a clip on Pornhub somewhere. <laughs> But either so, way, my um, point is that I, to to the second half though, like the Adam twenty two response, <coughs> he is 
kind of right, but I mean, he was kind of contributing yeah. to the pile on when it was announced by being like, yeah, I've, you know, I've slept with, which slept with, that's not even the right term because they didn't sleep with each other. It was a performance. Yeah. But like, I've, you know, I've engaged in this act with your girlfriend. Like, he's right. But sometimes the messenger is just as important as the message. And I do feel like him being the messenger, if he was being serious, and I don't think he was being serious, would be tone deaf because it's just very you were part of yeah, you were part of the pile on about this. And now you're now you're gonna chirp him for breaking up with her. Like However, even in that video, he wasn't uh like the video we just saw, he was just yeah. being unprofessional, like the way yeah. he was talking about her. But to be clear, he is only doing this to see if he can bait uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sean Evans to come on his show. That's what that's what definitely won't happen. <laughs> no, not but that's that's what this entire I video is about was to throw that okay. gauntlet down to see maybe something hits and he shows up on the show. Uh, he won't. But, um, but Sean should definitely write, make a message, even if it, he just notes apps it. Because if you see how people yeah. commented, that was that is all his comments will be for the sake of his it's show, crazy, too. Crazy, though. Like, because everyone like, the he, day he, before, like, all right, continue. Sorry, go ahead. I was just saying, like, say he brought, you know, Usher on Hot Ones. That's all people are going to write in the comments besides right. the interview. So he's got to say something. Well, yeah, yeah it's but just, it's only going to be like that for a little bit. It ain't going to be yeah. like that forever. I don't know. Oh, people thing, people have good memories on the internet, too. My thing is wild, though, is that those same people were the ones chirping him the day before. They did a complete 180. They're well, like, oh, my God, you know, you're that, dating that's just her? Internet and then the next day, the same people will be like, I can't believe you broke up with her. It's like... At some point, you do you, you can make the case if you're Sean, like, <clears> as they said, like it'll go away eventually. And these people don't actually care; they just want to be mad at me because <laughs> they were chir- they were chirping me before, and now they're chirping me again. So the result is the same. Like, do you think if he was still with her, the comments wouldn't be, "How's your girlfriend?" or "I watched your girlfriend," or you know what I mean? Like, the, still the comments would have still been about this relationship. I mean, I think you know, honestly, to be honest if the breakup wasn't related to her profession, then he should put out a note being like, Hey, like we just didn't get along that well. Like, yes, yeah. the new, the news mm-hmm. broke that we were dating the day before Valentine's day. That was not when we started dating. I was like that. That's just when pop crave posted it online. So <laughs> pop like, crave. We, we've been dating, it wasn't working out. And so, you know, we've separated from, you know, we've ended that relationship. But that's not what, she, that's but not what she's saying though. It's not what she's saying. And that's why I think it's probably because it went that's viral. That's calling it up. Yeah. It, it went viral for the wrong reasons. He didn't like that attention. And so he broke up with her. And I think he probably should have waited till after Valentine's day to be nice. He didn't. But I also think that there's no way for him to explain that that's going to make him look good. And people are going to chirp him about this regardless. I know, I, so they I would have let it. Way. I think he might want to just let it go, actually. Maybe she, he may have found out he caught something. And he's like, you know what? I got to let this go. No, nah, actually, did you know the yeah. average porn star is less likely to have something than the average yeah. person because of all the testing that you tend to have Whoa. to do before filming a yeah. scene? Yeah, they take like wow. precautions to try Thank and keep it spread down. Thank you for that fun fact. I think I might have to change careers. <laughs> but uh, no, I think that there's a there is a downside to him putting out a statement. I think you're right, Matt. This makes him look bad, but I don't know that the statement makes him look better. <laughs> and and it just it just extends the story even longer. <laughs> so like, if he can't make a statement that clears his name, and I, then he yeah, it sounds he like he can't because it sounds like he did cave to online pressure to break up with his girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> then I think he should probably <laughs> let it go because a statement, if if you let the internet trolls break <sighs> you up, then you have no moral ground here. You gotta just let it go. Excellent points on that. Now let's add, let's get to some questions. Isn't Valentine's Day the ultimate check on? Isn't out Al- Val? Ah, excuse me. Valentine's Day is the ultimate see who's with who day on Instagram and social media. Are we right about this? That is when you most likely will see who is partnered with who. No matter if you're gay, straight, bi, trans, pan. Demi, all that stuff. That is the day people uh, let give you an update on who you're dating. Hot take. I mean, my oh, boyfriend God. and I didn't post each other. 
Is there something gonna... going on, Kara, that we don't know about? <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like maybe for maybe high it's an American thing. and celebrities. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Like I the think... only time my boyfriend and I post each other is like maybe during an anniversary dinner or if we're on like a big holiday posting pictures. But yeah, and at the end of the day, it's no one's obligation. And yeah, um, all that matters is that you two are aware of your dating. You don't have to let the world know. But it's funny that a lot of people still do that, anyways. And today's my sister's birthday, so oh. that always that's always come first in my life. So indeed, happy birthday to your sister. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll say this, man. I do. I mean, I do think a lot of couples post. Like I know I posted, my wife <laughs> posted, etc. But you said like it's the ultimate check in day. And I think for single people it is. Yeah, that's what I should. That's that's yeah, that's because a better way I to, to, to say check, that. I did not check. I did not look at. I mean, I posted the Instagram at dinner, and then I put my phone away. Like right. that was it. So like, I didn't check a single picture. Like I was out, <laughs> and I was. Um, with is my wife. is it more of like do most Americans like post their significant others on Valentine's Day? Oh, yeah. I don't say. Yeah. Mo- I don't want to say most because we don't have numbers. Like but a I lot. Would, I would guess most. Yeah. I feel like when I was in high school, like a lot of kids would, but like, I don't know any partners or online in my life. Like as soon as we uh, graduated that we're posting, it's it's not really a normal thing here anymore. I don't think. No, we definitely, you definitely see a lot of relationship content on Instagram for Valentine's day. Matt's right about that. But I just say like, in terms of the checking in half, that's a single, that's a single person. Like if somebody's crushing on somebody, you could, if you want, um, if you're, you know, don't definitely don't go out of your way to to look for the person, like do. don't, but like, just people to who make post, sure, yeah, if people who post, you can see, okay, this person, there's a good chance they're single. Let me um, post. Yeah. let me let me um shoot my shot. Yeah, yes, I agree. If you if you were looking to see if your friend was single, not having a post on Valentine's Day would be a a, a way to tell. Know. A way to know that, yeah. Or you could just ask. Sure, but <laughs> I'm just saying as an example, yeah. But we like yeah, to make yeah. things harder for us. I don't, <laughs> but you do, Matt. You look by the way if they post or not. Well, there's nobody to look at. There's nobody to look at, but I will say, like, you know how like there's story previews on like right, Instagram, right. Facebook. I did like when I was just doing my scrolling. I saw there. I was like, okay, let's see who posts. They're together. Man, this is a horrible couple. They need to break up. <laughs> uh, these are legitimate uh, thoughts I've had. Um, we're looking to this. It's like, oh, they're cute. That's sweet. Look how look how cool this person is. Oh, I'm just posting just cause. They're very clever. So, um, <laughs> yeah, that like I said, that's just a day for people who want to let them know. The thing I posted on my Valentine's Day was a picture quoting a movie saying, you know, guys like us don't fall out of the fucking sky, you know. What's the Kanye oh. West? Uh, well, yeah, it's the song that I took from the movie, too. Yeah. the movie Dogma. Yes, but I'm just saying it was just in the Kanye song, too. So that was you had two and... friends. That wasn't just you. It's not like you took a picture of yourself and posted. Yeah, it was yeah, you and your friends two hanging friends. out. Right. So um, maybe next year for Valentine's Day for me. It'll be you and your friends and, and your partner. There you go. <laughs> we will ultimately see. I have not posted a Valentine's Day post relating to Valentine's Day since 2020, but um, we'll see what happens at 25 for me. Um, Jose, you feel the same way? I guess. I mean, I, I really, uh, I really look for them like them single girls that be only posting having dinner with their family and friends. So I kind of know what I'm looking for. If they're <laughs> single, because obviously. Or yeah, Valentine's so Day. Yeah, so Matt's saying Matt's agreeing with that. So usually I just go by that. If they don't post anything, I stay away from that. That's like a grenade. You wait. You you don't want to test your. You don't want to shoot your shot. And they're like, I've been with my boyfriend for the last ten years. They're like they ain't gonna post anything. Right. <laughs> so, I will. You know. I should say that. Um, but you know, whoever I may or may not be talking to, you know, there's various. Uh, you have those conversations. You don't bring that up. Because situationship, let's be real with me, but hate that word. Still we will it. ultimately see. 
well, I'm just I just may or may not be conversing with somebody who could potentially be my partner. And there wasn't enough to bring up. Oh, well, or I mean, I maybe there was seven. maybe there was. I don't know. I'm playing your mind games. Well, well, Ryan. Had, well, Ryan had only one Valentine's Day. I'm looking at my Instagram. I have seven. So you I have seven Valentines. I think they're the one, but it's all right. There's a good chance. Them... Hell no, I no may chance. have right. one or multiple. I don't know. That's what we have to find out. My next question is: Remember, if you ever did bad on a test, like in school. And you had a note that said, see me after class. And your heart dropped. You had to go through class. And those days sucked. Like if you got a 54 on a spelling test, then they say, see me after class. And the teacher says, I'm disappointed in you. You could do better. Here's a retest. Like the normal public school systems we did. Oh. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what was the point of to go study? You're just going to get retested anyway. But that's a story for another day. Who remembers the seeing those see me after class notes? Nah, I was uh, I don't know. Do you guys have the IB program in the states? IB? Yeah, I think I'm, we probably have something similar. But it's like no. when you take uni courses in high school. Yeah, uh, AP, I did that. We have uh, AP courses, which are well, we had we had. Credit, uh, and I then we do have like, college level courses. We had like take. the we had like the special needs like classes, which my brother was in, and then we had um applied and then we had uh a not ap we had something else above it and then it was ib i did ib i was a really good student but uh, i kept getting in trouble because i never did any assignments i only showed up for the tests and the exams because i just hate like work at home i hated it <laughs> i would just read the textbook show up do the test do great on the test so i never had like great grades but they could never really get that upset at me because i knew what they were teaching i just didn't want to do all the stuff that felt pointless mm. yeah i didn't get a ton of see me after classes i'll be honest matt but i got a one or two but every time was it was not scary usually they'd be like all right not your best work what happened a lot of times it was uh, trying to figure out what happened because typically I didn't get poor grades. Yeah. Uh, so if I got a poor grade, they'd be like, all right. And then usually I'd tell them. And sometimes there's a reason. Sometimes there wasn't. And then, like Matt said, if there was a retest, they'd offer it. If there wasn't, then they'd say, yeah, we'll just, you know, try and fix that for next they time. They didn't offer retest to students they didn't like. So, you know, I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I... I failed a test one time because I didn't show up because the heat in my house was out and my dad was a miner. So he was out of town mining and mm -hmm. no one was there to fix our heat. So me, my brother and sister all huddled in a room with like one space heater and we couldn't leave. Otherwise, our body heat would like make the room cold again. So couldn't show up mm -hmm. for my test. Teacher was like, what what happened? Why weren't you here? And I was like. I didn't want my siblings to freeze to death. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, I was. We were using our bodies to keep each other warm. <laughs> and that's Sorry. that's like the only time I ever like failed a test, but I just retook it. So I had I, one class that I did really poorly on. Like truly, I ended up dropping that class. But uh, that was the only time, and I didn't. That wasn't me, by the way. I never even got to see me after class. The teacher just let me be bad at it. So. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, we, you know, especially NFL ending, we are going to do a podcast just doing school stories and showing <laughs> how our school systems failed us. <laughs> so we can talk uh, about hey, that's one. that's a little mean. I don't know if I was failed by the school system, but no, I don't think we are. We're all here, but they definitely <laughs> there are some silly things that took place. <laughs> yes, yes, it's silly. Um, can I please show you if anybody I connected with this so much. This this TikTok I'm about to show you right now. Hold up, let me just get it on the full screen. But as but as we are we are talking here. All right. He's pulling up the video. <laughs> all right, here it is. Yeah. Is it school related still? Or? It's school related still. Okay. okay. Who remembers if? You were in class in a rumptious class where a lot of people were screaming and stuff. Who had this happen to them? All right, here we go. Uh oh. I'm talking to y'all. 
You don't mind? This is just ridiculous. There's no reason why I should be hearing you guys five classrooms down. I can't even <laughs> get my class to study and focus because we hear you guys acting a ruckus. Acting a bunch of banshees. Wild animals. Unacceptable. And I had some of you guys in my classroom last year. And you know I did not play Jabari in the hallway right now. Wait until I get there. Not having it. <laughs> this makes no sense. She should have to be screaming at you guys to do what you know you're supposed to be doing. We don't get paid up to babysit you guys. We don't. And she cares about you guys too much and does too much for you guys for you guys to be treating her this way. You owe her an apology. Tabitha, you want me to call your mom? Come in her way back and I will. Don't worry about it. I'll talk to her after that. And she's Not the worst hush. one. She's the worst one. <laughs> get Next together, door people. teacher. Sorry. If you don't want to be here, let us know. We can make arrangements to get you up out of here. Yes, the caption is, <laughs> when the next when the teacher from next door comes and yells at your class, that happened all the time. In that, yeah, that even like the the cardigan readjusting. Yeah. My second grade teacher, Miss Deleo, uh, shout out Ms. several Deleo. times. Yeah, Miss Deleo, I had this like fifty year old man that was the teacher next door named Mister Baki, and he would come into our class and just scream at us all the time for her because she was too nice to scream at us. When he said Jabari, yeah, I had enough of it. Get out! You come out of class. <laughs> What was I going to say? First of all, the comment, next door teacher stood on business always is pretty funny. Uh, uh, yeah, that's happened for sure. I will say it almost always, almost, not always. I can think of one time where that wasn't the case. It's almost always a male teacher walking into a female teacher's classroom because yeah. it's getting too rambunctious. I will say that. I don't know what that means. We can unpack that. I feel privately. like, uh, at least well, in my experience, it was younger female teachers that yes. maybe might have been too nervous to like yell at the classroom, but the male teacher is like, nah. <laughs> well, so, and I was going to say the one exception that I, I can think of, the whereas two female teachers, it was a younger female teacher and then like an experienced female teacher who had been there a long time, who heard everything that was going on, was like, what is happening? This yeah. this is not appropriate. Like and then I so that was the teacher, only, man. that was the only time. But um, <laughs> I was gonna say in the cardigan thing, I think also is part of that because <laughs> it's always a young female teacher and like just think about it. Like for the teacher's perspective, it does kind of stink. Like you have this job where you're supposed to be teaching these kids, right? And someone mm -hmm. else who is, does not have that job, they have a separate, similar job to teach kids down the hall, comes into the classroom because. It's very clear without seeing anything going on <laughs> that you're not accomplishing the overall goal. And it's not the teacher's fault. I'm not blaming teachers at all. I'm just saying, like, it's got to be a little bit, like, embarrassing and, like, a little bit yeah. flustering if you are that teacher, especially a younger teacher. So it's weird that they, they call it on, like, the, the cardigan thing. But, like, because that, that's, like, a nervous thing, right? A nervous tick. When you're nervous or when you're feeling uncomfortable, you fidget with your clothes and so it is interesting that he kind of mimicked that too because that totally did, did happen like you know, straightening your whatever <laughs> that's not like because you're just nervous like now there's yelling and now other people are involved you know jose what do you think about this whole situation i was doing flashbacks when I, I i so i had that if you don't know norwalk i had to go to briggs for like half a year and that was like every day in Briggs for me. <laughs> what, did you, so, what did you do to get to Briggs? Listen, Ryan, not everybody's book smart like you, all right? <laughs> well, well, they didn't throw you in Briggs for a bad grade. <laughs> <laughs> they did way worse than bad. It was way worse than bad grades. Oh, you, know you're in a, you, know, you know why you're in a, bad, a crappy school when your notebooks was packets of papers. You don't even get the notebook. You get the packets of papers. <laughs> You didn't even, couldn't even get the deal. They, they didn't even the trust textbook. the notebook. The, they didn't trust know. the spiral notebooks. Nah, they got one. Not even that. I mean, like those, like, like the science book that y'all be getting. Yeah. Hell no. They got one. The teacher guy makes like 50 copies for each kid. And they go by chapters. It was like the worst experience, but that was every day for us. You didn't answer my question. Oh. How'd you end up there? in classes all that other like Unless you i didn't can't really tell. went to go no i mean fighting a selling gotcha. yeah. like like that good old stuff but yeah the bridge ah, was yes. fun <laughs> the good old what stuff. an experience all right I mean, well 
Mm-hmm. You ever been? To, and by the way, I always, always got one of those damn notes. Just saying. And in my mind, class. CV yes, after class. And, and I'm not even gonna front. I was happy as hell. I'm like, mm-hmm. today's the day I get to fulfill my fantasy. Like today's the day the teacher is gonna do stuff on my dad's video. I used to I watch. Oh my goodness, that's where your head went every time. Every freaking time, my Spanish teacher was hot. So I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna be alone. And then probably I get wasn't stuck. the same teacher. You probably didn't have the same teachers. So probably not. But anyway, she was hot, and I thought I was fulfilling the fantasy of mine. And so it happens I had freaking homework. More work, <laughs> yeah, because so you did poorly the first time. They give you more work. Uh, uh, you know, it's hard to get quality time with a teacher. We're doing great, thank you very much. Oh, You're not supposed man. to get quality time with a teacher. <laughs> well, if she's hot, I'm gonna try somehow. Thank you. I mean, that's happened plenty of times too. We could talk about that in that school episode Matt wants to do. But <laughs> <laughs> let um, we have one time for one more segment, one more question, and we'll complete it with the Valentine's Day. We've talked about love. We talked about lust. We've talked about breakup. Um, probably the most interesting, you know, we talk about love enough. So let's talk about the loving, if you if you will. And if you're making, let me ask, if you're making a sexy time playlist, what songs or what artists are featured in this playlist? Well, we've done this one. I, I just think of that. Uh, oh, have you heard that? The, the Reddit thread yeah. of the guy that uh, said, made a playlist of songs to have sex with his girlfriend to and the number one song and that was like sea bad or something sandstorm you heard that? sandstorm really no 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 oh uh, no it, it went viral online it's a horrible song with no sea rhythm bad. it's a uh, sea bat like c b a t and then if oh. you just like read it song it'll come up and it's horrible i would definitely play it but don't want a copyright yeah, no, no. Just plot. look it up sometime. It's it's absolutely horrible. It's called Sea Bad by Hudson Mohawk. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> it it has no no rhythm to it. The beginning sounds okay. You're like, oh, there's a interesting yeah. intro, and then it just crumbles. Unbelievable. You know, I used to just put on Chill Synth Wave though if I was having a date because I didn't want to have to listen to music that I liked and like focus on it. Yeah. Yeah, I had like, like a playlist of songs I liked if I wanted to actually share the music I enjoyed, but just for background music. What are you playing, Ryan? Yes, well, last, Ryan. La- yeah, last time we did the same thing. The answer hasn't changed. You guys didn't convince me. Oftentimes, there's nothing because we don't plan it out. It just happens. And so there's no Boring, music. Jose. Yeah. You're next. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of the name of the song. I'll get back. Give me, give me two. Well, so while Jose's talking, since I'll I'll say what I said last time, I I will say a lot of times, TV is on, like so Netflix and chill sort of situation. Uh, so there's been a number of times that the television show is playing. So correction, any... uh, we're picking a song that we're having sex too, correct? Or artists mm. that or you typically artists. go to. Okay, all right, we're good. All right, so I know what song. So for me, the Ryan, you're not playing Cody Rhodes' theme song. Whoa. Ding. Oh, no, that's, okay. that's a great way to finish, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> or MVPs. Uh, I'm coming. Just, just <laughs> there. Or what about the Looney Tunes song? Uh, dun, 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 if I was dun, watching dun, the Looney dun, Tunes, dun, dun, dun. then sure. I, I, one time, uh, when I was in college, it was America's Funniest Home Videos theme song. That's just we were watching that. Things got to where they got to, uh, and so. That was the song that was playing. Not, you can't control it when you're doing the, the Netflix and chill route. So. Yeah, and I mean, you're married. I'm in a long-term relationship. I don't think at this point we're really, uh, we have to turn on the sex playlist to, uh, <laughs> you know, just happens when it happens. Man, what about the Wiggles theme? <laughs> I will say that at no mm-hmm. point in time was I watching the Wiggles while I was old enough to be engaged in that activity. Mash banana, mash banana. Would be an interesting uh, song. Uh, but, uh, right, I want to hear uh, what Jose has to say. I have two songs. So the song I'm playing during sex is Back to Sleep, Chris Brown. And mm-hmm. then after I have sex, when I finish the deed, I'm going to put I Just Had Sex by uh, the Lonely, Lonely Island. Lonely Island. <laughs> does that, yes. does that work? 
Does that work well? <laughs> do, do do people respond well to that? I mean, she had a good laugh at the last song. Everybody, I, would, I feel like people would be upset. I feel like they'd be like, "Oh my Why? god, really?" Because it's not nah, because you, know. you don't you don't want to be with a serious person. So true, if they don't true. laugh at that, then I'd say that's more of a interesting a red flag. So, okay, so it's a way to check to you know, check to yeah. see if this is a good partner. It's not goofy. About, you don't want to date feel... someone that's not goofy. Fair enough. Can, fair enough. I like the idea. What about can you feel the love tonight? From the Lion King, it's a little. That's a little bit intense, isn't it? Yeah, Especially for I like was a fir- say. like a first time deal or like a, a more oh, casual no. deal. You know what I mean? I feel like you have to be really comfortable with the person to be like, Lion King's coming on, babe. You know what I mean? <laughs> Unless, of course, you're watching the Lion King and it just yeah. happens to come on. <laughs> well, whatever rocks your boat, whatever motion in the ocean, and whatever makes you happy to bring you all together. Regardless of sexy time, but just spending quality time together. It's a beautiful thing with love. Maybe not poly love. I don't get that. That's strange. But every other type of love oh. is beautiful. <laughs> um, I'm just going to dunk on that real quick and we'll, <laughs> we'll pick it up on a different episode. <laughs> but seriously, though, Valentine's Day is, Valentine's Day is coming gone. So enjoy it. Appreciate your Valentine. For those who don't have one, it's going to be wah, okay. Wah. <laughs> <laughs> and for other people don't give up or do give up and then you will be okay because if you're single the, your whole life you won't be that stressed um but either way <laughs> love is a great thing and we'll continue the love on this show great work from cara ryan and jose see you next week see you man see ya yeah.